Hi, everybody. Happy Tuesday and welcome to my kitchen. The Christmas decorations are up and it took all weekend to do. I will be showing a slideshow on that. Um, we are back from our four day trip to Paris and both of us have incredible head colds. Um, as usual, the trip to Paris was great. There wasn't enough time to do everything that we wanted, but I think for our four days, we had a pretty um, ambitious schedule and we did see a lot and I will be doing a slideshow on that as well. But what I wanted to focus on today is the hair that I'm wearing. When we came back from Paris, I received a nice little surprise in the mail. Um, my friends at La Vivid Wigs sent me another Carrie for review. Now, as you know, I do have a very blonde Carrie that is a non-lace front wig that I absolutely do adore. I have another Carrie that is a lace front wig in a darker color, which I absolutely love. And it was one of my favorite wigs of 2017. Now, this is the lace front carry in the shade Almond Frost. I know some people say almond for the nut. I say almond. Whatever it is, the nut, just say the way that you want to say it. I say almond. And Almond Frost is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. There's a lot going on. It's rooted. There's some brown. And then it gradually comes out to blonde, which just there's a lot of depth in the color. And I like that. It's just not one shade. There's a lot going on here. And I think it's a very, very flattering shade to um, all skin tones. Now let's get into the style of the wig. What I really love about this color is that the depth of the shades really lend itself well to showing off the layering in this wig. Now, there's a lot of layering, long layering in the front. I happen to like that. I think for um, the mature face, the layers around the jawline actually help to soften any sort of jowls or any kind of sagging that we have that we didn't have when we were younger. And I think this is a stellar wig for um, hiding any sort of flaws that we may have that we want to kind of discreetly hide without the help of fillers or surgery. So anyway, let me give you a look at Carrie from all sides. This is my right side. And I love the way that even though it's layered, it's somewhat subtly angled, which gives the line a nice shape. Here's the back. As you can see, it is dense and the layering is all on the sides and in the front. It's really not layered in the back. And hold on while I show you <laughs> my left side. Okay, here's the left side. And it really is a lovely, lovely wig with the feathering. Now, I'm gonna to touch on something. There's a school of thought that women over a certain age shouldn't be wearing long hair. I say, if you're confident and if you can carry it off, then you wear that long hair. Um, if you are not sure and you want to go a little longer, I would definitely suggest purchasing a wig like this, but maybe taking it to a stylist to just trim the edges so that you have a longer wig, but not as long so that you might be uncomfortable. But the other thing is, you can always clip. Hold on, I'm going to show you something. 
You can always use a clip to style this wig any way that you want. You can wear a side pony, a low side pony. You can clip her up in the back. Voila, a longer wig, but with a shorter style. Hold on, I'm gonna turn around to the side. Now, I didn't pay any, as you know, this is like one, two, three. I'm doing this really quickly. So I'm not like styling anything where I'm leaving out tendrils of my bio hair or fixing the hair, but this is just a basic look. So here we go. You can just put her up in a clip, one, two, three, that's it. She looks pretty good. I have to admit, that's the one thing that's great about a longer wig is that you have more versatility when you want to put it up. And then you can wear her down as well. The hair itself feels so nice and soft. But when I say soft, it's not Barbie doll soft. It feels as though you just went to the salon, had a great blowout and your hair is spanking clean and just feels really, really good before it gets dirty. I happen to like the way that feels. I will tell you there is a luster to this wig. There is no shine. I didn't have to put dry shampoo on her or anything. So I think that's also a plus when you can just take a wig out of the box, pop it on your head and wear it. I will say that this did come with lace and I did cut the lace off. There wasn't a lot of lace cut off, maybe an inch or two. Um, but the other thing that I like about this wig is that it's a hard lace. And I think a hard lace lends itself well to staying put. I've had wigs with softer laces that have kind of rolled back and I've had to anchor them. This absolutely needs nothing at all. Hold on, I'm gonna take her off so I can show you the inside. Oh. Okay, here's where I cut the lace. Here's the parting space. The parting space is actually, can you see? The parting space is really good. Hold on, there we go. It's really good. I may go in and just tweeze a little bit more to make it wider because my natural part is wider. Um, the cap construction. The cap construction is nice. There's Velcro along the ear tabs, so that gives you added comfort, especially if you're a gal who wears glasses. The adjustable straps don't have the bra hooks. It's Velcro, so that's another plus as far as comfort goes. Um, <clears throat> overall, I think she's a great wig. I think that this is definitely going to be worn during the holidays. Hold on one second. I'm going to put her back on. Oh. oh, wow. I like her even more to the side than I had before. And that's one thing about the ear tabs not being so obvious is that you can um, manipulate this wig and move her from side to side. But I'm gonna tell you something, the holidays are coming. When I had all of my bio hair, the holidays could be very stressful, especially when we were going out or if I was hosting a party or if we were going to a party because the one constant in my life was always, how am I gonna wear my hair? If the weather was crappy, my hair would frizz. Um, I would spend a fortune on blow dries, <clears throat> excuse me. And even if I did my hair myself, it took me over two hours because my hair was so thick, it's so porous, and just to get it to resemble something like this with soft waves, it took me forever. So I really think that wigs are a very convenient way of just getting ready. Um, if you have hair that is difficult to manage, 
I suggest getting a wig and just plopping it on and then you can just like shake and go. That's the best thing. So let me touch up on a couple of other things that I like about how LeVivid um, packages. I like, I like, whoops, here we go, upside down. I like the LeVivid boxes because they're not too big and they're not too small and the wigs fit in the boxes. I know a lot of people don't like to store their wigs in the box. I do, and I'll show you why. The wig comes with tissue paper to maintain its shape. It also comes with a, with a net. After I wear my wig and put it away for the day, I will stuff it with the paper, I will put a net over it, and then I will place it very gently in the box. Now, here's a couple of other things that it came with. A lace cap, well, like a netted cap, I should say. And to me, when you're wearing wigs, you can never have enough wig caps. It comes with instructions for the wig, which I think is really good because a lot of um, companies don't give little booklets and I think these little booklets are priceless. And for extra security, they also send combs that you can sew into the wig. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I've never had to sew combs in one of these wigs because they fit really well. Um, I'm <clears throat> not the most ambitious person when it comes, I'm, I'm pretty lazy. So if a wig comes with combs, I'm thrilled. If it doesn't come with combs and if it doesn't need the combs, I'm thrilled. If a wig doesn't come with combs and does need combs, I will sew the combs in, but I won't be happy about it. So that's it. I am going to go back to bed and nurse this cold. It's, how can I put this? I can't stand having a cold. And for me to stay home from work, it takes a lot. But this morning when I woke up, my head felt like it was 900 pounds. So I am just going to take the rest of the day easy. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm going to bring some tea upstairs. I'm going to watch Hallmark movies and sleep. So I will see you later and have a great day. And remember, holiday hair doesn't have to be your own. You can just go online and order, or you can go to La Vivid Wigs and you can order this gorgeous Carrie wig. I swear, she is so thinking gorgeous. This definitely is one of the wigs that I will put on my favorite list. So that's it. Have a great day. Um, if you have a cold, take care of yourself. If you don't have a cold, make sure you wear a hat outside or cover your ears so you don't get a cold. Okay, bye. Take care.